Well, lighting's all wonky, but I just wanted to say I took about two hours to make like a scripted sketch based off of an idea that I had last night. Um, I think I'm going to release it as a separate video. That way it's all separated out and makes sense. So I guess look for that later today. All the cat litter is one aisle over from all the baby stuff. Like cats are some kind of gateway drug to babies. You know what? That aisle at the grocery store was right. Cats are like little babies. Especially this one's this one's literally trying to nurse on me. You are very much like a human child. Keep me up all night. You always want me to feed you. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're never going to grow up and be able to talk to me. You're just going to always be kind of a baby. I mean, you do kind of talk to me, but not in English. People might overload their laundry a little bit less if it wasn't a dollar and a half a lot. That's gonna kill either me or one of my neighbors. Is this your friend? very much like friends. I'm gonna go with probably your friend. I'm gonna leave the door open. I came up the steps and there was a black and white cat who started yelling at me. So I'm like, oh, do you wanna see my cat? Now it just seems to be yelling at Markle. Hello, neighbor. Hello. Hey, where are you going? You can come in if you want. I wonder what your name is. never had a cat actually just run into my house before. <laughs> you can chew that one up if you want. It's the box we have set aside to chew up. You seem reasonably sweet. You can hang out. Now he's looking for little extra foods while Marco just paces around watching him. Your friend's kind of rude, Markle. What do you want, man? Want a box?
There's some kind of like power struggle going on, I think. I mean, Markle's gonna win though, because it's his house. I'll just kick this cat out if they don't. The problem is that Markle is such a sub. Like, he won't start shit. I just found out that the only way to communicate to a neighborhood cat that it is time to leave is by literally shooing them out with a broom, like an old timey cartoon. No one wants chocolate chip cookies. Everyone wants chocolate chip cookie dough. So we had like a squeaky thing, right? And so being from essentially the country, I said, ah, I don't know how to fix, you know, I don't know how to fix that. It's like a little squeaky, you know, just spray some WD-40 on it. And Hazel looked at me like I was insane. Like she had legitimately never heard the words WD-40. Uh, which seemed crazy to me because that's like one of your standard repair kit things. Um, so today I go to the store, get some get some WD-40, one of your classic things you use to repair things with. Uh, for people in specifically California, I guess, it is a kind of lubricating oil. You make stuff, you know, stop squeaking. Uh... It's under pressure, so you can like spray it on stuff. It's great. But look at this. Not for sale in California. What the hell? I mean, I know California has a lot of like laws about stuff, but it's just oil. And propellant, I guess. But it's just oil. It's one of the classic things.